We're going to have strong, very strong borders, but we're going to keep the families together. I didn't like the sight or the feeling of families being separated. President Trump has a change of heart. He signs an executive order ending the family separation for immigrants who cross the U.S. border illegally. Leaders across the country have spoken out to condemn the Justice Department's policy of splitting families at the border. And right here in San Antonio, the leader of the Archdiocese joins the ranks of those calling for an end to zero tolerance. Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Wright joins us now live from the Archdiocese with more on what the Archbishop had to say today. Aaron? Jeff, Archbishop Gar Gustavo Garcia Sierra said that leaders need to treat children regardless of where they're from with dignity. He told me today he is cautiously optimistic about this executive order signed by President Trump, saying that he is hopeful, hopeful about it, but this executive order again ending the separation of immigrant families. Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Sierra has served the 139 parishes and 700,000 Roman Catholics across San Antonio for seven years. He calls what they're seeing now on the border a crisis. No matter if you are a citizen, if you are immigrant, if you are refugee, you have the same dignity. In Washington today, President Trump reversed course, signing an executive order ending separation of families illegally crossing the border. For the Archbishop, it's a sign people are paying attention to the images of suffering along the border. So the, the reaction of the president is hopeful, but it's just the beginning. We'll see how it develops in the next few days. He agrees with many, criticizing the federal government using scripture to justify the zero tolerance immigration policy. Last week, Attorney General Jeff Sessions quoted Romans 13 to justify what's happening on the border. So anyone who interprets the scriptures to follow laws that are wrong, immoral and evil and causes damage to people's lives and and tramples down and puts down their dignity is not from God. That is individual manipulating the word of God. He's hopeful that this suffering can bring people together to come up with a humane solution to the immigration issue. You know, when there is no dialogue, we just see what is inside of my mind regarding that particular issue, whatever that is. But when there is dialogue, can bring new possibilities. President Trump's order is effective immediately. Families will still be arrested and detained for crossing the border illegally. In San Antonio, Aaron Wright, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.